Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, May 22nd. And I am here with Mindy Martin, pre-K teacher, who next year is going to be the associate principal in the lower elementary. Hi, Mindy. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Mindy, we're so thrilled that you're moving into an associate principal position, and it's especially wonderful because you come from such a strong classroom background. Talk a bit about your educational background. Where have you taught before um, and how long have you been at ASD? Um, this is my third year at ASD. Uh, we began teaching in Canada and then we moved from Canada to Kuwait where we taught for four years and then we moved to the Philippines for five years and I taught grade one there and then we made our adventure over here to Doha, and here we are in our third year. Okay, and when you say we, you're here with your family. Tell us a bit about your family. Um, I'm here with my husband who teaches PE in the middle school, and I have a son who's going into grade three. Oh, my God. <laughs> and um, my youngest one is moving into kindergarten next year. Okay. So as a pre-K teacher, when you saw that the position for associate principal was posted, there had to be something where you said, yes, this is the right time, this is the right position for me. Talk about that. Um, I think that I've always liked leadership. Um, I've grown up being on teams and being leaders in teams. I've been team leader at my last two schools, this school and my last school. And I like that responsibility of helping uh, work with and collaborate with my colleagues. And I really like that. And so now I felt like I was ready to just do it on a larger scale, mm -hmm. you know, moving outside the team to the lower elementary. Mm -hmm. And so when you think about this position and you think about the responsibilities of the position, what kinds of things come to your mind that are um, especially exciting to you about doing? You know, I'm really excited to work with the colleagues in the lower elementary, walking in their classrooms. I feel like I'll learn a lot from them. Um, seeing all the enthusiastic learners in the other classrooms, I often only get to see what's going on in my own classroom, and I think it'll be fabulous to see the enthusiasm and the conversations that are happening in other classrooms as I support the faculty. That's wonderful. So all of the great background that you have in literacy and the background that you have in math and the various subject areas, the instructional um, strategies that you have, you'll get to look at others displaying them as well as amplifying on them in a sense. Yeah, that's, that's exciting. Yeah. yeah. Mindy, I know that concurrent with teaching and with being a mom, you're also doing coursework. Um, and that coursework is important in terms of fueling things that you're doing in the classroom. So tell us, what classes are you taking right now and where are you taking them? Um, I've been working since January on a reading specialist course. Um, it's a three-part course and I'm in my second part of this course. And um, it it teaches you how to work, uh, f basically, first of all, it teaches you what a good literacy program should look like within a classroom, and that aligns with our ASD um, path. Mm -hmm. And then within the classroom, it, it really works on how do you hit and target all of your readers in your class? How do you help your struggling readers, and how do you support your English language learners, and how are you make it all inclusive within the classroom? Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so um, with the reading, um, then there are papers to write, in a sense, about, about all of those things? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so every week, we're given a module. And within that module, there's stacks of articles, research-based articles that we are required to read, mm -hmm. along with a course text that we're required to read. And based on the readings, generally, we have two to three assignments that we mm -hmm. um, submit every week which is reviewed by our colleagues within the course. And then we have a discussion, an online discussion, um, responding back and forth to each other's papers. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So as you think about uh, a good literacy program and you think about what the components of that are um, and what you've learned that will come back into, it's coming back into the classroom to help our young readers, maybe some tidbits for parents about um, how to do that at home. Uh, oral conversations mm -hmm. are a huge component of students developing good literacy. Uh, reading with your children on a regular basis, um, be that in their home language or in English, 
um, discussing books and um, really just showing your children that you really value reading in your own home and then that value carries over into the school as your young ones begin to read. And as you think about your pre-Kers, you've seen their development and reading skills throughout the year? Mm -hmm. Yes, actually, I have many children in my class who are early and emergent readers, so uh, they are ready to go when they get into kindergarten. <laughs> well, as we come in the classroom, we see books everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, that's the, that's the literacy program that makes our lower elementary so strong. And we know that from all of the results that we have with the assessments that we do with our kids and with the observations in the classroom. Thank you. And um, know that that work continues um, and is such an important part of what we do. Great.